Hey, what's going on YouTube? Easy Tag 231 here. Welcome back to Best Android Setups. This is episode four. Uh, we're taking a look at setups that got the eyebrow raise while looking at them. So while I was scrolling through my emails, my submission emails, some of these setups got one of these numbers. So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at some pretty impressive setups here. I know you guys are going to really enjoy this because I know I did for a fact. Uh, we've got five setups here. I'll put as much information down below in the description as possible. Uh, I know I didn't really do that in the last video. And speaking of last video, I was also wearing this shirt in the last video. I just noticed that. Uh, but uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into these setups. All right, so our first setup comes to us from Cell. We are looking at Nova Launcher Prime with a grid size of 8x6. We are looking at a couple of widgets here, and they're both from Zuber Widget. Um, these were actually custom made. So that's pretty impressive. The icon pack is the Material OS icon pack with a few custom icons there. The wallpaper here did come from a wallpaper application, but unfortunately, Cell forgot which one. No problem at all. And all of this is being run on the Moto X Play with a custom ROM and the Android NFI exposed module. Now we do have a few screenshots here, this being the first one. You're gonna start to notice a theme here where I mentioned the fact that the wallpaper works very, very well with the setup. And I think that's something important when you wanna get a setup that looks really, really nice. You have to have a wallpaper that complements the setup perfectly or just really well. And this one here, in my opinion, complements the setup perfectly. The first thing that I wanted to address here after the wallpaper uh, are the soft keys all the way down at the bottom. Um, as Cell did mention in the email, is running a custom ROM here. And uh, yeah, those uh, those software keys are looking real nice. I like the way that they look. They actually match your app drawer icon. Now, normally I would say I would like to have that app drawer icon match the uh, icons on the right and the left. Uh, but uh, I, you know, it's an app drawer icon. It does something different than those applications. Uh, so it kind of stands out a little bit. And again, it does match these soft keys at the bottom. So that's kind of cool, nice touch. Everything here is very uniform. Um, but other than that, you have a really nice looking clock widget up top there, very impressive. Then you've just got your clean folders, uh, no icon labels on anything here. Um, and yeah, everything's laid out really nicely. And moving on to the next one here, you just got three widgets um, looking really, really nice. I do like the text font that you have going on here. And then down there at the bottom, you did state that that is the Pulsar Music Player widget. Then you have Shazam down there as well. So that's pretty much it for this setup. It just looks really nice. It's just very pleasing to the eye. I like how everything works together. Um, this is one of my more favorite setups that I've seen in a while. Just super clean. You get the job done here. It could also double for a utilitarian setup as well because you've got all of your folders there and everything is right there at your fingertips as soon as you unlock your phone. So great job, Cell, on your setup. I'm a fan. All right, so our next setup comes to us from George. We're looking at Nova Launcher Prime with a grid size of nine by nine, and the icon size has been set to 150%. The wallpaper here is from Zedg, and if you guys wanna get your hands on this wallpaper, uh, George uh, kindly included that in the email, so you guys can get your hands on this if you'd like to try it out on your device. We are looking at a couple Zuber widgets here. The clock one is from the Glam Skin, and the day and the date has been edited by George. The icon pack is the flat white icon pack and all of this is being run on the Samsung Galaxy S6. All right, so this setup here is awesome. I really like it. I can only imagine what it looks like on your Galaxy S6 with that AMOLED panel. It must look super nice. Uh, but up top, you have a really nice, perfectly sized clock widget. It's kind of rising above the stars there. Uh, nothing in between. It just looks really nice. Um, and in the middle there, you've got the Howling Wolf. That looks awesome. And right behind that, you've got the moon. And then below that, just a bunch of darkness, which is perfect for this icon pack specifically because the icons kind of jump out at you, looks really cool. Now the icon layout that you've got going on here is not only interesting because of how it's laid out, it's because you've got a widget right in the middle. That's a nice touch right there. It's a, a month and date widget. That's really cool. I do like that. And then moving over to your other screenshot here, just three widgets going on here, month calendar widget. Um, the, the skin or the theme that you chose for the specific screen, it's perfect. It goes along really well with it. It kind of stands out from the wallpaper, which is nice. And right below that, we have two stock Samsung widgets. Uh, the one on the top being the manager widget. So you can kind of clean out your storage uh, here and there, free up some RAM and stuff like that. And then we're looking at the S Health widget on the bottom there, kind of use it as a pedometer, which is awesome. Uh, putting widgets to great use here. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the setup. Again, if you want this wallpaper, it's in the description. So if you want it for your setup, go ahead and grab it. It's right there. And uh, yeah, this setup is really nice. Again, icons, widgets, and the wallpaper all working together to create this really nice looking setup. Great job on your setup. I'm a fan of this one too. All right, so our next setup comes to us from Yash, Yash. 
Ugh, I, I hope I'm not pronouncing your name incorrectly. Please feel free to correct me. We are looking at Nova Launcher Prime with a desktop grid size of 4x4. The wallpaper came from Walmax. We have two different icon packs here, Min and the Candy Cons icon pack. We're looking at two different Zuper skins here as well, the RL Zuper skin as well as the Parrot skin. And all of this is being run on the 2016 model Samsung Galaxy A5. All right, so I might as well just named this episode the Unity Setups because everything here is working really well together. Let's go ahead and go from top to bottom here. Really nice widget there. You have some icons in that widget. Um, so you probably get some stuff done there with that widget. And uh, it's kind of above the clouds there. See, I look at things in detail. That's just how I work. Um, in the middle there, you have your date and your time. And then right below that, in the darkness, you've got your white icons kind of jumping out at you there. Everything looks really, really nice. And then on the dock, you have your candy cons, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so everything is very unique here. Moving on to the next screenshot. Now this is something really interesting. It's very rare when I see somebody using one of these themes from month calendar widget. Um, usually somebody's, usually everybody, including myself, is using something more transparent. This one looks kind of like Google Now. Um, so that's really cool. And speaking of Google, that really interesting uh, search bar up top looks really cool. It's very unique. And I did notice at the bottom, you also have a different dock, or maybe those are just some other icons there that you use. Maybe it's not a dock. I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, but uh, it's really cool there. So it kind of separates it from the main screen. This setup is really nice. It's clean. You can get stuff done, but it just looks really cool. It's very unique. So great job on your setup. I do like this one a lot as well. All right. I got to stop saying that I like these setups so much. Obviously, I like them if they're in the video. Unless you guys want me to make a specific video for setups that I don't like. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Let me know. All right, so second to last, we have this setup coming to us from... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the name right here because I don't really wanna mess up another name. So we are looking at Nova Launcher Prime with a grid size of seven by six. The icon pack here is the Siru, Siru icon pack, something like that. The wallpaper comes from the Candy Cons icon pack. We're looking at the OSHA skin for Zuber Widget Pro. And all of this is being run on the third generation Moto G. So we don't have too much going on here with this screenshot. We do have another one that we'll take a look at, of course. Uh, but one thing that did kind of stand out, of course, is the wallpaper here. It's green, and you also have some green going on in your icons here with the WhatsApp, the camera, the gallery, and the phone. So that's kind of cool. It's a nice little touch there. Um, the widget up there is really nice. It's very simple, but it's also very unique uh, with a little ribbon effect going on there where Wednesday is. Uh, that's look, that looks pretty cool. Um, so not a whole lot going on here. You have a nice looking two by four grid of icons there. And I don't think that any of these setups have any icons that are labeled trying to remember. No, none of these setups have labeled icons. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next screenshot here. Now we have a lot going on here. Uh, the very interesting Google search bar at top for one. And then another thing that I noticed is that you have another time and date widget here, but you also had that on the previous screen. That's not a bad thing at all. It's just very interesting. Something that I noticed um, before we get to those icons there, uh, we have another widget here at the bottom right. I believe that's a specific widget uh, for Google voice search, Google search, the actual app itself. I'm not sure what that plus one is for, but I'm pretty sure you customize that to do whatever you need it to do. You did state in the email that you access your app drawer with a swipe up gesture. Of course, Nova Launch, you can do those kind of things. Then we have a diagonal formation here with a bunch of folders. Um, so yeah, this is really, really cool. This is very interesting, a very unique setup going on here in the second screen. Also notice that you seem to have two SIM cards in your phone as well. Um, that's just a side note. Uh, but yeah, this could also double for a uh, utilitarian setup. You unlock your phone and everything's right there. You have a bunch of folders going on here. Uh, not a whole lot to say about this setup other than it's clean, it's nice, and it works. Um, so yeah, that's a good job on your setup. I do like it. All right, so our last setup comes to us from, again, I'm gonna put the name right here because I do not want to mess this one up. All right, so we are looking at Nova Launcher with a grid size of nine by seven. We have the Wicons icon pack, and then we also have the Apex theme for KWGT. This wallpaper is from the Absolutely Wallpapers application. Uh, it was so kindly included in the email. So if you guys want to get your hands on this wallpaper, it'll be down there. So make sure you check that out. And all of this is being run on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. Okay, so it was kind of this setup right here that kind of sparked the idea for the theme of this episode. I love this setup. It's really, really nice. Starting at the bottom, you have an anchor icon there. Uh, I guess that's for your app drawer. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? This wallpaper here. I love the table in the background. That, that little table there with coffee mug on it. The look of that table just 
in my opinion, it just makes the whole entire setup. The setup probably wouldn't have as much appeal if it weren't for this specific wallpaper. So great choice uh, on your wallpaper here. It even made your icons part of the wallpaper. So with this coffee mug here and the steam rising up, you have your icons kind of hovering right above that within the steam. It just, you know, it's just the little things like that. Um, I think that was a great addition. And the icon pack selection here, perfect. I think it's excellent. Um, and yeah, again, unlabeled icons make everything look cleaner. And then your widget up there doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It's not boom in your face. It's just right there for when you need that specific information. And moving over to your second screenshot here, you have the Google search bar up top. That's the default one. Um, so I guess this in itself kind of adds a little bit of color to your setup, which is pretty cool. Along with that settings icon pack there, or icon pack, icon down there at the bottom. And on your last screenshot here, you have two widgets. One is a notes widget, I'm guessing at the bottom there. And then right above that, you have month calendar widget. You have uh, birthdays and festival visibilities on, as you stated in your email, so that you can see when you have an upcoming event and or birthday, which is really cool. I kind of tripped over the word birthday there, I don't know why. But you got a lot of them coming up here, uh, so yeah, congratulations to your friends and family that have these birthdays coming up here in August. Uh, so that's cool. I, I do like the way it looks. It kind of just gives it more of a, like a, like a, I don't even know. It just looks cool. I'm running out of words to say, uh, but uh, yeah, it looks really nice. And again, getting back to this main screenshot here. Excellent job. I, it's, it's pleasing to the eyes and it's really, really nice. I think you did a great job with this setup. All of you guys who are in this episode did a really good job on your setups. I'm a huge fan of each and every one of them. I think that this was probably my favorite set of setups that I've gotten so far. Uh, so that pretty much does it for this episode of Best Android Setups. But before I end the video, I just need to address a few things. All right, so for those of you that commented on the last episode suggesting that I mention in the video what the theme for the next episode is going to be, Sorry, I can't really work like that, but to make up for that, make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'll be doing polls. I'll give you guys two to three different options uh, as far as themes go to see what you guys want to see for the next episode. Uh, and I'll do my best to make sure that it works out like that. So um, I just wanted to uh, address that because I know some of you guys would like to know what the next one is going to be, uh, but I can't really work like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on Twitter so that not only can you guys have more input, uh, but you guys can actually see what you wanna see. Uh, so yeah, that's just how that's gonna work. And if you guys wanna submit your setups, again, make sure you check out the description. All of the information that you need is going to be down there. Um, also for this setup, there's some information. It's like some wallpapers that are down there as well. If you guys wanna get your hands on that, uh, they'll be down there. So that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button. Uh, comment your thoughts on this episode. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. That does it for me. Again, follow me on Twitter at EasyTech231. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.